What's up, guys? It's IFBB, Men's Physique Pro, Brandon Hendrickson. We're here at the Chicago Barbell Compound, currently six weeks out for the Mr. Olympia. Today, we're training legs. Let's get it. Everybody in the top five has superior genetics. Everybody in the top five works their ass off. He just keeps going and going and going, and that makes for greatness. Best in the world. Plus the shit. Two. Two, one more. Ah. Nice. Most people are lacking in a hamstring area. So if you start with hams and glutes, you're gonna get all those muscle fibers firing and activated. Then when you go into quads, leg press, squatting, hack squat, your hamstring fibers are still gonna be firing, but now you're taxing your, your quads as well. Now in between, just from there back, do your walking lunges, but out to the side, so it hits hams and glutes more. So your hips are gonna still stay straight, but you're gonna step out to the side. So that way the tension stays on your ham and glute. You'll see. Come up, come up, come up. Come on, keep ripping it. Come on. Come on. Five more. Come on. Ah. Two. One more. Ah. Nice. Stretch it out a little. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. It's nice and slow. Slow going down. Keep holding. Slow. Breathe. Breathe. Reach down. Just hold it. Keep I feel breathe. like when you have legs that fills out your shorts, and it makes your physique look that much more like popping on stage. Versus like if you just had a great upper body and no legs, there's really no continuous flow in your physique. So having legs is always great for balance. Very underused by men. Guys think it's a girl's machine. Come on, come on, fight it, fight it. Come on. This is when we think of the future. Come on, come on. Take it to the future. Come on. Uh, come on, five more. Uh, five, come on, all the way together, all the way together. Uh, Four. Uh, Take it to the future. Three. Two. Uh, one more. Uh, uh, to be one of the top five in the world, your training has to be intense and you have to do cardio. Everybody else out there is great, just like he's great. To beat other greats, you've got you've to put in an insane amount of work. He's a workhorse. He's, a, he's an absolute workhorse. Seth, help. I'm going to drop this. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop him, yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep them knees together. Two, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's work. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep them knees tight. Five, four, three, two, one. 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Way to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five, six, seven. Last one. Come on. Come on. Come on, B. Let's go. Let's work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now give me seven. Bang them out. Seven, six. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good money. So I get the best workouts with my coach, man. The best pumps. I mean, we all need guidance. Even number one in the world, Phil Heath, he has a coach. He's had a coach his whole career. It's just good to have that, that guidance. It's good to have that second eye. When you're looking at yourself every day, you don't really see the changes, but when you have a coach, a second eye, he sees every little thing that you don't see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Guys. Fucking last one. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bang them out. Seven, six, five. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Four, three, two, one. Oh. I can't feel them. They're numb. <laughs> My whole leg's numb. <laughs> now we're gonna go squat. Easy money, lightweight. Full range of motion. There we go, all day long. Through the heels, through the heels. You know, there's two schools of thought. Some people swear by heavy squatting. It's the only way to make your legs big. I don't subscribe to that school. I believe you have to squat. Um, and I do believe that there are some times where you need to squat heavy, but not all the time. So if you notice, we did a lot of other work already. Now we're squatting later, where he's already pre-exhausted. So you can go lighter weight and still have a lot of tension in the quads and the hams and glutes are firing since we started with hams and glutes. I'm gonna drop set you. So go give me 10 and I'm gonna drop you. And you give me as many as you got. And I'm gonna drop you and give me as many as you got. And you ain't short me, not one. Let's go. We work. Lightweight, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Ten. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. This point in the prep is rest days when it's absolutely necessary instead of planning it. Because he can really push his body day eight, nine, ten, whenever it's needed, take that day and then just keep moving. Feet will still stay low, so we're still focusing on quads. But now we're gonna hit middle in. Best in the world. Best in the world. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Stay. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Oh, best, best, in uh, best in the world. Uh, best in the world. Come on. Uh, hey. Fuh, 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 fuh. God damn it. Come on, what's the boy? Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. That's why. <sighs> Nobody could ever take that from you, man. Huh. Greatness. Man, I need a nap. <laughs>